There's two different types of mirrors that you can generally get for the Astra 3B and other sextants. One is a split horizon mirror and the other is a whole horizon mirror. So let's check out the differences between these two mirrors. First up is the whole horizon mirror, which uses specially coded optics to superimpose an image of a celestial body and the horizon. The second type is the traditional split horizon mirror, which has half of it silvered and half of it clear. So for this demonstration on the whiteboard, I've got a little planetary body, a sun or a moon or something, and a horizon so we can see the difference between the two mirrors. Also, trying to film this so you can see it, there's a couple of artifacts that may show up. Uh, so please, no comments about the, uh, you know, the side error and refraction and everything. For example, I'm taking the telescope off so that I can put the GoPro on. As you can see here on the left, the whole horizon mirror gives a uh, superimposition of the horizon and the body, whereas the image on the right is split and it's very faint, but you can see the reflected image as well on the left side there. Changing out the sextants is very easy. It's just a matter of two screws and then doing a little bit of calibration, which I have not shown here. Uh, but the screws are very easy to replace. You can change out one mirror for the other if you happen to have both. The sextant site itself is completed as normal. You look through the telescope, if you've got one, out at the body, you bring it down to the horizon until it is just touching the horizon, and um, you rock it back and forth to make sure that you've got it exactly correct. Here you can see a couple images of a whole horizon on the left and a split horizon on the right, uh, just bringing the sun down from a nearby beach and uh, rocking it to make sure that we're exactly accurate. One of the criticisms of the whole horizon mirror is in low light conditions. It doesn't allow as much light through. I haven't found that to be a problem except in the most extreme conditions. For instance, here's a camera recording of a star at sunrise when you would typically be shooting stars like this and it's perfectly fine. The other criticism of the whole horizon mirror is kind of getting the index error. It's a little bit easier with the split horizon uh, in my opinion. Either way, you can't go wrong. A sexton is better than nothing at all. And uh, whichever mirror you have, it's going to be great. There are just a couple of differences. So if you're taking the next steps in celestial navigation, you can consider picking up a different mirror and trying a new challenge.